Women's Battle Royal for a title shot. Can I just read my notes? I'm and just going to do I, the if, same thing. If I'm missing anything, let me know. Okay. So the first two women eliminated were unidentified. Yes. In such a way that I don't think Vic Joseph remember what their name is. Not were. a clue. No okay. way. They did not mention their names. They just mentioned over the top rope. <laughs> and we move on to whatever happened next. <laughs> and I, I believe one of these women is well known on social media for having a well liked buttocks. Mm. Okay. I don't know how you say that in 2023. People really like her ass, I think is what... Uh, Actually, that's exactly how they would say it in 2023. Yes. And, uh, and I know this because when she was eliminated, the fans were irate. They were furious that she had been tossed out. Okay. I don't know what her name is. I'm sure someone there is going to yell at me like I should know. But if you don't tell me, I don't know. And the other one, I have no idea. So they get thrown out. And then Gigi Dolan is thrown out. It's like the worst elimination you've ever seen. Just nothing happens. Just fell out of the ring. So then Miss Jackson gets thrown out, and Oro Mensa catches her. Okay. She gets thrown out again. He catches her a second time. Thea, who I made sure, I, I, I had to double check to make sure this happened. She rolled under the bottom rope and then dove onto Oro Mensa. And then Lash picked her up and dropped her on the steps, and then they laid her out. So it's like... This match was like every fucking spot we see in all of these fucking Royal Rumbles. Like, it used to be, okay, here's a Royal Rumble. You try to throw people out or whatever. You know, this guy that's feuding with this guy throws him out. These two aren't feuding, throw each other out. Now they are feuding. And, oh, there's that one guy, Shawn Michaels, that gets thrown over. He almost touches the ground, but he doesn't. Well, you know, now it's like they have to do every last single spot that's ever been done in a Royal Rumble and every Royal Rumble. You have to have the guy that's thrown over and you know, his foot almost touches the ground. You have to have nine guys doing that. You have to have somebody thrown out, thrown out, but like they land on pancakes, which is not considered the ground. And then they hop their fucking way back in. Like they're doing the same thing in this. Someone gets thrown out, they get caught. Like every single one of these fucking tropes is being done in this battle royal. So uh, Lash Legend comes and she uh, she lays out uh, Thea. Thea. And so, you know, we're supposed to forget about her. Okay. Because they do that in every fucking Battle Royal and Royal Rumble. So then, Lash and Miss Jackson eliminated Valentina Faraz and Ulyssa Leone from the outside. So Lash and Miss Jackson on the outside, they, they pull these two out of the ring. And Ulyssa Leone and Valentina Faraz, they must brawl with Lash and Miss Jackson. And I wrote here... The worst brawl in recorded professional wrestling history. Hmm. That's strong words, considering what we saw from Ava Rain and Ivy Nile an hour ago. That's true. But I think if you went back and watched this again. Yeah. I'm not denying You would at least agree that it was one of yes. the worst brawls in professional wrestling history. This may have been twice as bad because there were two brawls going on. Tatum Paxley then eliminated herself. Excuse me. To help Blair Davenport beat up Roxanne. You must have misspoken. No. That could not have happened. No. She eliminated herself in order to help Blair get rid of <laughs> Roxanne. You're telling me. At this point, even Booker can't like. It's like, that was fucking stupid. You're telling me that Tatum Paxley either likes Blair Davenport enough or hates Roxanne Perez enough to eliminate herself from a top uh, contenders match and attack. So then, in what might have been my favorite spot in this match, J.C. Jane and Lyra Valkyra are battling, and J.C. throws Lyra over the top rope. So, as we mentioned, 8 million people have to almost touch the ground, but not. Luckily, Lyra's so short, she fucking can't touch the ground. Mm. So the spot is supposed to be, Lyra gets thrown over. <laughs> then she does a skin the cat, and she grabs J.C. around the head, and she head scissors her out of the ring. That's supposed to be the spot. So J.C. throws her over the top rope. Lyra flies over, grabs the top rope. She's hanging. Oh, I'm going to touch the ground. And she begins to do the skin the cat. And there's no neck. There's no head. Because J.C. is in the middle of the ring, and she has completely forgotten what she's supposed to do. So Lyra is halfway upside down. <laughs> and she just goes back down the other way. Which, of course, when I first saw it, it made poor Lyra look stupid because it looked like she couldn't do a skin the cat. Yeah. 
that's what you think as a viewer. You don't realize that JC forgot the spot until you watch it again. So she's now just hanging, just waiting. So JC all of a sudden, bing, the light bulb goes off, like, uh, you know, Von Wagner's wink. And she realized, holy shit, I forgot. So she starts running to the ropes. Lyra is not in position now. Lyra furiously tries to go upside down. JC Jane runs, and I swear to God, it was exactly like Vikingo when he does that run, step on the middle rope, and do the 450 to the outside. That's what she fucking did. She ran, stepped on the bottom rope, and vaulted herself over. Lyra barely gets her head in time. She eliminated herself. Here's the thing. I watched this happen, and I can confirm that what Ryan's saying is accurate. But I'm watching this, and after watching two hours of NXT, I was like, numb to this. I thought to myself, oh, that was poorly done, and I moved on. But I'm listening to you explain it, and I'm realizing that's what happened, and that's rotten. It was hilariously bad. That is awful. That's then, bad wrestling. Somehow, Fallon Henley tossed Kiana, mis miscarriage of justice, as Gorilla Monsoon would say. And then, I'll just read what I wrote, Henley got tossed, I don't know how. But it looked like she eliminated herself. <laughs> so, it then comes down to Cora Jade and Dana Brooke, okay? Mm -hmm. You, the viewer, are supposed to think, these are the last two in the ring. Well, these goddamn fucking fans start chanting a spoiler. Thea! Thea! You realize, oh shit, that's right, she's still in the match. So then she does, she tries to do the Keith Lee rising from the sea spot. Yes. But she's so short, like only her forehead gets to the top. And so she slides into the ring and got a, a huge pop. And then they do a couple of spots and they're all on the ropes and Thea tosses them both out. And I got to say, after that atrocity of a battle royal, this was exactly, this was exactly like Tatanka and Crush in that lumberjack match. Yes, that's a good example. She threw them out, and this place absolutely lost their shit. They're fucking going crazy. And not only that, they've got that big video wall. And so they, they put up uh, animation of fans going like this <laughs> in the background behind the real fans. Everybody's cheering. They're clapping. They're on their feet. They sent out all these geeks and Chase U shirts. Probably some fans jumped in the ring. In fact, I know there were fans because... Uh, those, uh, the twins, Haley and Hannah, the Cavender twins. The Cavender twins. Yeah, they're in the ring, and uh, they're front and center, taking up all the camera, holding Thea on their shoulders. Meanwhile, the announcers have to get in a plug for all their shit, and then, uh, and then they have to hold her, and then, you know, they cut, and there's Gulak and, and, uh, Charlie Dempsey, they're all happy, and they're clapping on the ramp and everything like that. And, uh, I think that they then went to, uh, Braun Breaker who challenged Seth Rollins to come to NXT and defend the world title. And then I think they cut back to the thing again, and these Cavender twins are sinking. They've still got Thea on their shoulder. They've had her up there for like five minutes, and she's all, hey! And the fans are happy. And hey, at the end of the day, what's the point of wrestling? To get shit over. And they got Thea over. The fans were so happy to see her win. She's, she's over like Rover, as the kids say, back in the 70s for this uh, championship match. And uh, in the end, you know, that was a success. But the match itself was god-awful. Okay. Did I miss anything? I had to. You win. actually got more out of it than I did. Uh, you, 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 you captured more than I did. Uh, I, I won't read all my notes because you covered a lot of it, but I wrote things such as, A blonde woman is thrown out. Cora Jade throws out a woman in teal. Another woman called Jordan shows some athleticism before being thrown out. Uh, we had... So so what happened on the dive spot? Uh, Miss Jackson, Jakari Jackson, gets knocked off the apron, and uh, Old Romanza catches her. So we cut to the ring to see Thea Hale getting position for her dive, and she dives onto Oro, and Miss Jackson has disappeared. We never saw her again. We are told that he put her down and she was eliminated, but we never actually saw her again. So I guess it was uh, Faraz and Leon. I heard Vic calling out Royce and Leon. Like we're supposed to know who they were. Like Peyton Royce has come back. They're not. And that led to the uh, horrible brawl you mentioned. Did you mention the part where after Tatum Paxley eliminated herself, 
to attack Roxanne Perez that she and Blair Davenport then, rather than leaving Roxanne and heaving the floor, threw her back into the ring. <laughs> I did not mention that. Well, that happened. That happened. Uh, we had, when it gets to the final four, uh, you mentioned you did not see how Fallon eliminated herself. She eliminated it by repeatedly trying rebound moves and fucking them up mm. over and over again. And finally, uh, she actually threw Kiana out, but uh, she was trying to throw out Dana and threw herself out instead. And then we had all the stuff with Thea Hale. So, Thea wins. Chase U storms the ring. Drew Gulak and Charlie Dempsey approve. Do Cousins, they're clapping, but he's totally confused. He has no idea what's going on. And frankly, I have no idea what's going on with him either. The Cavender twins, Haley and Hannah, are there. They also had their names more, mentioned more often than either Harry Dyad or Bald Dyad. And uh, that was that. And then Braun does a promo. All I knew is at this point, that was horrible. We were, the show was already seven minutes over. I just wanted him to shut up. Uh, Ilya Dragunov is not the most intense guy in WWE. And yes, he challenged Seth Rollins to come here to NXT and put the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line. There you go. And I wrote, show was okay, which that was generous. What? That was not yeah, an okay sure show. Yeah, that sure was generous. Golly. I don't know what I was thinking there. Actually, it was okay. The, fir the, the first half was fine. Yeah. The opener was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's just the main event and the fucking promos. This plaque. I'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque. Yeah, yeah Paul and Bischoff or who? What in God's name is going on? Uh-oh. Who let you in here? Everybody's favorite. Come over here. You can't even be seen. What? Oh, my God. Oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented to F4W that. Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey! out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey! Oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh no. Dom, Oreo. hit that music, brother. Ah, oh, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, man. Yeah, no. Yeah. I love you guys. I love you. Oh. When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I hate that whale! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.